Shout out to Syndicate. If you shop anywhere else, your shoes are probably fake. <laughs> under arrest. Under arrest. Under arrest. Black lace. Do not resist. Fire Supreme Burberry box logo. Um, I need the decks. I need all the hoodies and maybe the jacket. These are called the Hot Steppers. Is it really called that? Hey, matter of fits for today. Today's Thursday. I'm gonna start with me first. Hey, what's up, guys? My fit was trash last week, and guess what? I have another trash fit for you guys. What's going on, you guys? It's Manny here with a little backstory about me. Spare Pair is a nonprofit focused on getting shoes on homeless people in Los Angeles. So the homie came by and brought through the new uh, Rebellion Air. They're pretty limited, to be honest, at least out here in LA. I... All right, so we kind of have a mess. Kind of. So they'll be for free. By the time you guys see this, it'll be long gone. But they'll be free today on the Instagram. We'll show you. Right now, Rob is witness. We'll do it. Oh, this is fire. Oh, I got it. I'm already ready. I'm yeah, already, but, but, I already but, know what horse I like. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Another beautiful day. Oh, that's not that beautiful. Yo, so Supreme, you remember when everybody was saying, hey, my God, Supreme is that. Supreme is like streetwear polo. Maybe. Uh, but Supreme's the best brand, I believe. One of the best brands. But they dropped Burberry. And I don't know if you guys saw, insert fight video. I'll send it to you, Rob. Yeah, man. Burberry must not miss out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is hilarious. This is real life comedy. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. This is comedy. Do not move. I ain't going nowhere. Get off the No. All God's children are supreme. Kicks for dummies. Oh, Dover. Oh, they wildin'. Oh, they, they going to jail now. You know what DSM stands for? Dover Street Madness. <laughs> <laughs> Supreme is not open today. Y'all can stay as long as y'all want, but when the doors open at 11 o'clock, they're going to tell you the same thing. Clint! You got the boys here? It's Clint! It's Clint! And tell them, officer, it's Clint! It's Clint! It's shut down! It's y'all fell down, I seen the madness, but you know our motto, we're not just here for the politics, we're here to get the item. Yes, sir. Hey. There's people in New York for wilding for these things, and then there's people saying like, I'll never wait in line, and then posting during line. But, that's our Supreme Burberry box logo, um, I need the decks, I need all the hoodies, and maybe the jacket. Um, they did like a, a knockoff a long time ago. But then now they did a collab, so it just shows you. Keep grinding, and you'll get the real collab. Vance, need you. So Supreme dropped this. I don't know how to use the website. Call me a rookie. No, no, no. We gotta run this out back. So what y'all think? Every I think everything sold out. Yep, sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. Sold out. What do you guys think? Did even the f***ing, um, a lot? Yeah, they did. Holy Everything. Everything sold out. La, la, la. Even the shorts, even the long shorts. I need the long shorts low key with what? the high socks. You're good? And the what vans. I rip in my on my LA stuff, my baby shower drip. Yo, so you know Manny I think Manny's it's this his his turn to um have a baby. What? So I definitely need need this for the for the baby shower drip. When I pull up with this to the baby shower, that yeah, doesn't work. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, there it is. Baby shower fit oh, right here. Oh, that's nasty work. What is in there? What's the, what about the middle one? 
No, 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 like the blue. Oh, nah, never nah, mind. Nah, this one. Pinky? You do like a full denim fit? Coming in crazy. No shirt. I'm talking no shirt, just denim jacket, and then the matching jeans, just no shirt, no shirt, baby shower. What's up? Yeah, you know, I got your lip gift. Yeah. That's nuts, nuts. But yeah, shout out Supreme, they're back. Tremaine, he got him so right. Rude. He's not even in there yet. I think he is. <laughs> He is? I think he I has think to be. To no, but I'm saying like he's probably. Like, he's they did first come first serve for the first time at, like in years. Yo, Nelson was out there. He was posting uh, about how he was team early with the sticker. Shout out to you. <laughs> What's up, man? What's going on? Man, we try to get the store clean. You know, we um we get a little dusty in here. You know, like you know, just a little bit. But gotta make sure it's clean in here for all the customers. You know. Also, when you try on shoes, you don't want to be like, you know, getting the bottoms dirty or anything. So we just go through it real quick. Then we're gonna open up. Hopefully, we got a couple people in line right now. So hopefully, you know, they grab something. Maybe they brought us to sell something. You know? So we're gonna figure out the rest of the day and see what it feels like. It's nice out. It's like 72 today. Not too cold, not too hot. You know, I should have wore shorts, but whatever. So every morning before we open up, we put out all the shoes that we posted the night before. Here I got some ALDs, 550s. They're about to go on the wall. We're just getting the store ready for opening. Yo, yeah, yeah, bro, bro. Hey, man, you're you're under arrest, bro. We got arrested. You're under arrest. You're under arrest. Black laces. Do not resist. He put black laces on these Johnnies. Yo, 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 yo. That's yo, a yo. felony. Due to the fact that those are not laces that they came with, definitely laces that they came You're under arrest. Like, we got to take you away. We're going to put you away at least for a week for that one. That is a misdemeanor, unfortunately. Not a felony, but nonetheless, Jesus Christ. Yo, he came through real tricky. Okay. Black laces. Black laces. Oh, no, man. All right, yo, we're back on the block. Beautiful day, as Manny said. If you're touching base, apparently LA mask mandate is gone. The other day, I guess I just been so used to wearing a mask. The other day I went like this and I had no mask on. Anyways, if you guys are tuning in, the syndicate tees are live as well as the hats, but they're probably sold out by now. I think Briss said we only have like two medium lefts. Um, we haven't dropped the hats yet though. The the one with the syndicate on the front, like the crazy one. So that one might be coming out. You never know, stay tuned on the Instagram or on the TikTok. We'll probably post something that the hat dropped because I know a lot of people have been asking for it. So yeah, and then we might restock the t-shirt maybe in white or in different colors a lot of stuff in the works for syndicate merch so yeah we're gonna be doing more than just selling shoes and giveaways we're gonna be giving y'all some fire merch too and not just like tees and hats maybe some skateboard maybe some glasses stay tuned yes sir last one this man walked in maybe he's getting it you need yeah we got the maybe. These are called the hot steppers. Is it really called that? Hey, matter of fact, put a K Swiss right here. If you guys know what I mean. Um, like like Manny said, you can only wear these with like full sweatsuit. It's a nine and a half. Can't wear them. Maybe with shorts. Nylon shorts. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Hot steppers. Oh my god, oh, those look fire. Yeah. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? He just got released. Ooh, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Look at this. Yep, there you go. You just got released. Lompoc. These look like in high school, like when I first got to high school. You remember when we first got to high school, all those super <laughs> gangster dudes? I know exactly where you're going. This is what it looks like. Oh no! Hey, I'm not gonna lie to you, all the big homies used to wear those with uh For sure. with flat shorts. <laughs> this kind of looks like an LA shoe, you know? Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Now you're real, Connor. Oh my god. You just getting the same shoe in different variations? That's me. That's Low key? Jordan 1. Crazy steel. Size 5. I, I went yesterday and I was like, fuck. Nordstrom? Ain't no cap. 
There's a girl that comes in here and she buys all our cool size fives. And if she doesn't have these, I think she's gonna come by this. Little flashies. I think this is DC's favorite SB. Those are like, those are fire. Think so. and loaded? Yep. I love Drake. I love the Drake. So I'm gonna gas them just because they're Drake. <laughs> so homies so just came in, <laughs> sold us a bunch of stuff. New Balance for all you people that love New Balances. We got some heat. What size is this? Uh, six and a half for the smaller stuff. Eight and a half. We got the Salehis. We got a little bit of Joe Fresh Goods. These are so nice. I just I sold my pair honestly. Yeah. Uh, new Balance, Ame Ame, but I think the real gem is this joint right here. Protection pack. Way is like dairy, but I switched to like, like the healthiest way one possible, like most lean, hair, So those are your shoes. Oh, these are yeah, mad random too. Yeah, this is never like that. Less bullshit. And exactly. Like, uh, What's up guys, I'm Aryan, I'm the founder of Oro and I uh, just want to show you guys new bags we do with Syndicate. So right here we have 969 Syndicate right here on one side, QR code takes you to their Instagram. Other side we have Oro, buy and sell pre-owned. This QR code takes you straight to the app, so you can download it, start selling, buying pre-owned sneakers, and yeah, just stop by Syndicate and get your bag with every purchase. Hey, Aryan resells too, bro. He got an app and he resells shoes. Whoa! Oh, what? Look at this guy. Did you get this? Did you get this? Now you gotta buy him, Andy. Now you gotta buy him. That's, that was all for content. What's up, Matt? How are you feeling? I got in trouble for wearing black laces on my ICA Air Forces, so now we're rocking with these. How do they fit? How do they fit? They fit good. They run small. Anyone that's trying to get a pair, I'm normally 11. This is a 12. So one size up, huh? Yeah. Go. Well, uh, I would say like half a size to a full size. We're gonna see how this 11 fits on me, though. I'm a 12. You're gonna stretch out. Your big toes gonna rip through the front. Shut up, bro. No one cares. Okay, that's cool. How you feeling, Manny? How you feeling? Oh, these are dope, but I don't know about the black laces. Come here. What about you in today? Yo, so I came in. It's just always vibes. It's always love. Work with the people. Everybody I know rocks with them, right? So just did a little side swap today. It's my sister's birthday upcoming this month. So luckily they were cool enough to just do a six and a half for a seven and a half. Get it right. Got to get the whole family right, right? You know what I'm saying? Thank you guys. Thank you. Yep. Appreciate you guys. Take care, bro. So, one of the homies just dropped by, dropped us off a CPFM Dunk. The silver one, not the green one. I have yet to see the green one in person, actually. But, yeah, we just got it in. Size 11 and a half. Going up tonight, probably. Kind of crazy. Can we zoom in on this? Damn, yeah, 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 yeah. We had like three, four pairs of these when we first opened up. This is our second 11 and a half. So, you know, excited to see who grabs this one. Whether they're gonna bring trades, buy them straight out, you know what I'm saying? But should be a good one, yeah. It's kind of sick. I wish it were 12. I love for you to try to like wear them. Yeah. Size 12? It would've been sick, but you know, it comes a little keychain. Wear this a little pendant. No, I'm just kidding. Don't wear that as a pendant. But now, nah, yeah. Gotta love these, yeah. Let's see what else we get for the rest of the day. We're here. Another episode. We're going live. Hope you guys are tuning in. If not, tune in. Tune in. Tune in. Tune in. We're here. Eating apples, drinking water. Tune in. Listening to Chris and Andy talk about big old jackets. <laughs> What's up? Come say hi. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video, all that. And another thing, if you haven't noticed yet, man. <laughs> Man, Manny's a little off because he's been working out and he, his 
food intake has been lower. Mm -hmm. So he's a little lightheaded. He can't really think straight. Obviously you guys Calorie deficit. We tried, you know. Body got smaller. Head got bigger. Yeah, head yeah. stayed the same. Hey, hey. No word of a lie. Jumbo panic heads. Yeah, yeah. I, I went downstairs, you know, to grab some shoes. I went downstairs to grab some shoes, and he was just sitting there like this, <laughs> looking at the wall, bro. <laughs> Yo, you good? You gotta be zen. You know what I'm saying? An apple a day. Take a moment. Just relax. Enjoy the day. Two twenty. Thankful, real quick. Yeah, yeah. That's it. You know, that's why he caught me in that moment of just like my hands like this. I was like. We were good. And then I just came in like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Anyways, y'all remember when we bought these? Sold them. Let's go to this young man right here. Already, already, you already know. Hot step. He's gonna ring you up over here. Fit, chest. <laughs> flannel. He calls it a Mountain Dew flannel. It's not Mountain Dew. It's miscellaneous. White tee under. You should reply to that. Black. Well, washed black double RL, like double knee pad. You know? Nice. They're already ripping the back a little bit from dragging. And then uh, Union Dunks to finish off. You know? That's what we're working with today. Hey, what's up, guys? My fit was trash last week, and guess what? I have another trash fit for you guys. Syndicate hat, the only not trash item in my head. American Eagle um, flannel thing. American Eagle denim. And bands and Supreme pink socks. And Supreme. Supreme. Just kidding. It's not American Eagle, it's Celine, but that's my fit check. Alright, fits for today. Today's Thursday. I'm gonna start with me first. We got the 1213 reference piece. New flannel coming soon. You already know how it go. And then the back is where it's at. You get next. Same glasses, retro super future. Same hat, obviously. We got the nice little gray pink splattered jeans on and then you already know how I do GG Golden Goose I need the brand deal high key and yeah that's today's fit you know I always do like a little button right here bam just chilling like that all right guys today check out my fit I got a random Disney tee that I picked up at Disney on like at one of the times I went me and my wife go to Disney a lot so You'll probably see me around the Disney tees. Random white thermo, some Dickies, and I see off white Air Forces, purple socks on there. I got made fun of for the black laces. This is it. Hey, we got black t shirt from Gildan, shorts from Mitchell and Ness, and Stussy Nike. Shoes. And have everyone roasted. Wow, that's it. You know, just doing work. Typical pictures. You know, slow day. Low key, a very slow day today. But at least we got product for you guys. This is what I'm excited about right here. A little protection pack. Nice. One of the better New Balances last year. What y'all think of these? Let us know in the comments. Also, you know what? You guys should let us know where you guys are watching. You know, one thing I did notice, I made a list of the countries that are watching us, which is kind of cool. Gotta find it. The UK, shout out the UK. Australia, shout out Australia. Canada, Philippines, Netherlands, Malaysia, Singapore. Fruitcake from Singapore, shout out Fruitcake. Uh, but yeah, it's fire that you guys check us out from all over the world. That's kind of cool. Just since we just begun, what, like four months ago? So that's, that's kind of fire. Really appreciate the support. Thank you guys. So let us know in the comments. Let us know where you guys are watching from. You know, I'm surprised no Mexico or El Salvador because Danny's from El Salvador. Hey, same. <laughs> what? Yeah. You're from El Salvador too? The pocket man's from El Salvador too. <laughs> Yeah, there. You know what? One eight hundred. One eight hundred gambler over there. One eight hundred 
possible. But yeah, thank you guys for all the support. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys. Protection pack. Oy. What's going on you guys? It's Manny here with a little backstory about me. So, hope you guys enjoy this. Hi right, Manny, so how'd you get into sneakers? How'd I get into sneakers? Um, my brothers, older brothers, two older brothers. They were just like, uh, honestly, like seeing them grow up and wearing random Jordan 14s, random 13s, 12s, like French Blue 12s, Bread 13s, Flint 13s. They're the ones that were, when they, whenever they would go buy for themselves, they'd buy me one. And uh, I appreciate them for that because they probably, them and my parents were probably the ones that were keeping me in Jordans. You know what I'm saying? Like my first pair of Jordans were probably like some Team Jordans, like some black and gray ones. I don't remember them. But then my older brothers were buying me like, Flint 13s, like French blue 12s, uh, patent leather ones, like Chicago and UNC. So they were definitely like a big influence in like, you know, the whole sneaker thing. And, and it wasn't until I was like older that I started taking it a little more serious. And like, the, there was like a found love that, you know what I'm saying? That kind of happened. So I, I think it was that honestly, like just the Jordan love that I had. And then SBs as I got older. When was the first time you resold a uh, sneaker? That was difficult. Um, Cause I don't think I ever bought shoes like that to like resell, but I think like by mistake I bought a shoe like uh, I think it was like the Bloody Sunday SBs. I bought them from Supreme and I got them way too big. It was I think it was size 11 and a half and I sold them to Riff because you know what I'm saying like they didn't fit and I got them for retail and I don't think I made much on them. I, I'm pretty sure I tried them on they were too big. I think I might have made like 40 bucks on them like nothing crazy because you know it just it wasn't my thing. I think I got into it just to like buy shoes. You know what I'm saying as corny as that sounds like the love was you know, for, for buying shoes was stronger than like trying to resell. It was a, the resell, the resell bug didn't hit till I was like older. Till I started, you know, working the actual shoe, uh, shoe store. Cool, and then what was the first shoe store you worked at? Uh, first shoe store I worked at was Riff in uh, Little Tokyo. We were, uh, I was there, I was uh, eight, 17? I was 17 years old. 17 years old, interned for a few months. Then uh, I actually got put on, you know, got put on payroll. So I was like super hyped, 18 years old, making bread. Stop going to school, you know what I'm saying? Like I was just excited as hell to just be there and help people out, help, help customers out. Um, I don't know, I just, I enjoyed it a lot. I enjoyed it like more than anything in my life at that point, I guess, right? You know, it was just like, it was school, basketball, and then it was that, like that. And it was like a phase that I got, I guess I never really got out of. Gotcha, and then who hired you on? Who what? Who, who hired you on, is that, is that Rip? Who hired who you? Who hired me at Rip? Uh, Jeff, Jeff, uh, Jeff. Jeff hired me at Riff, and uh, I think we just connected off of like vans, honestly. Like, I was like heavy into like syndicate, like, you know, no pun intended, but like syndicate vans, uh, double tap vans, and like that was like our big connection. Like, it was just like, oh, like you like these? I like these. Oh, that's fire. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I, I think it was funny because I was into like Visvim and like uh, double taps, like really heavy, and he was just like kind of seeing me like, you're a 17 year old kid. Like, how do you, you know, how do you know about this? Like, what do you know about this? And, uh, kind of intrigued, you know what I'm saying? Like like his style was kind of sick to me, so I was like, oh, that's dope. Like, you know? cool, cool, cool. So who got hired first, Matt or you? Um, who got hired first? I got hired first, yeah, yeah. I got hired first, I was a, uh, yeah, 17. Matt didn't come out, did, Matt didn't come on till, till like my last year, I'm not gonna lie, yeah. What's your style today? Now, it's, it's funny, because I, I, I was like looking over my IG to make sure like, what do I wear now? I see myself, a lot in like Air Force Ones. Like if you if you follow me on IG, you see a lot of Air Force Ones. Like you see a lot of like um, like runners that I love. Like whether they're New Balances, whether they're Nikes, like Stussy Fossil, Spiridons. And then now a lot of Dunk Lows. But I don't know. It's, it's difficult. I think I think I have a huge love for Air Forces. Not as much as like DC or anything, because like he has fire Air Forces. But like complex con Air Forces. Like certain Air Forces that I love, and and you know that 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 is what I love probably like. Jordans, but now my style I would say is probably like a lot of runners dunk lows randomly, like the 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 unions I have on right now. How would you consider your style? Like, what do you wear on a daily? Nowadays, I, I would I find myself a lot like with um, dunk lows, a lot of runners. Like, uh, I find myself running a lot of Stussy Spirit Non Fossil runners, a lot of Air Max 180, like CDGs, like CDG Moabs, like the all white ones, the all black ones. And just dunk loads. Even like Travis Scott lows, like the, the the blue ones that just came out. Those are fire. I don't know. A lot of low tops, a lot of runners. I think I think I would say that. Like to just kind of keep it very simple. <laughs> All right, Manny. And what advice would you give to any uh, young, yep, up and coming kid, like you know, getting into the sneaker like community and sneakers? Honestly, um, buy what you like. You know, make sure you actually like you know you're passionate about what you do. You know, uh, 
buy what you like and then what you don't like and you know that might go for bread like answer those raffles you know go camp out if you could camp out i don't know who does first come first serve nowadays um answer every drawing just you know what i'm saying be on top of your your shit, like straight up and i think that's what i would advise you know buy what you like keep it to the left don't wear everything that's fine and just you know just be on top of your be on top of your game like be on top of every release like see what's gonna go for bread like if you'll get the hang of it you know what i'm saying like it's like anything it's like riding a bike you're gonna get the hang of it see exactly what works what doesn't work and of course you're gonna make your mistakes some some are gonna be costly some won't i think i think you know that's pretty much all i would say is just like make sure you're making money when you need to if you're a reseller obviously and if you're not then just buy you know buy what you like you know don't let everybody just influence you and like this is cool this is not like buy whatever you want try things on like you know what i'm saying like you got to be able to try on certain shoes that you probably don't really see yourself wearing you know just to see what you like like that's what i do i try on everything i just be like oh i buy these for like the grocery store or i'd actually wear these for more than a couple weeks you know everything's different not every day not every, not every shoes for every day so just keep that in mind all right okay. Go. All right, so Spare Pair is a nonprofit focused on getting shoes on homeless people in Los Angeles. So we've put a in right here in Syndicate. It's kind of in the back, so you're gonna have to, you know, if you have any shoes, it could be anything. It doesn't have to be anything hype, literally anything, right? Like running shoes, whatever it is, um, in any condition, as long as the person that we're giving it to can wear them. Um, feel free to bring them in, donate them right here. We'll be picking it up uh, about weekly. So um, yeah, just bring your shoes in and they'll go on the feet of homeless people in LA. Thank you. All right guys, so we're wrapping it up here at Syndicate Los Angeles. Uh, but before we go, I just wanna go ahead and make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. That's a flying hat. That's probably Bobby Schmerda's hat, but whatever, <laughs> we're here. And uh, thank you guys for tuning in as always. And uh, if you guys ever see anything on Instagram you like, make sure you DM us. Make sure you guys uh, repost our videos if ever. We appreciate it. That's pretty much it. And then uh, roll the, I don't even know what that thing's called, I ain't gonna lie to you.